In this video, we're going to be doing uh, one of those hence find the integral of something questions, okay? Or you can also call it reverse integration. That's not what they're officially called. That's something that a student called it, and I thought it was a nice name to give it. Uh, so yeah, uh, just to give you guys what exactly I'm talking about. So uh, I have a question here, which I'm going to solve. In fact, we're going to try and solve a handful of questions, inshallah. So it says here that the diff show that the diff uh, derivative of something something is this. And then at some point, it's going to ask you to hence find the integral. And the integral of which that you're going to find is going to be coincidentally, not coincidentally, I was just being sarcastic. It's actually going to be very close to some that, uh, something that which we just found out that the differential of a certain function is equal to, okay? And that's the whole idea that you have to use what you just found out in order to find what its integral is. And I should mention here that integration is basically the reverse process of differentiation. And that's the whole, uh, that's exactly what we're gonna be observing firsthand over here. Okay, so now we have to find the, this question I should mention is from May, June 2017, paper two, waiting two. So now we have to find the differential of 0 0.4 x to the power five times 0 0.2 minus ln five x. So I can't, um, really multiply, that's not gonna help me. I still, I would still have to use product rule. So I'm just gonna use product rule as it is, okay? So I'm looking at u is equals to 0 0.4 x to the power five, which means u prime is gonna be 0.4 times uh, five, that's two. And then we'll reduce the power by one. So we're looking at two x to the power four. V is equals to 0 0.2 minus ln five x, which means v prime is gonna be equal to zero minus the der derivative of ln 5x is gonna be one upon 5x multiplied by five. I have been getting a lot of some comments to make a video on differentiation and integration of ln. So if you guys uh, really wanna see it, uh, do let me know. I think I have already covered differentiation of ln on bright. So you guys can sign up and check it out over there if you haven't already. I'll see if I have the time and I, I'll make a few videos on integration of uh, ln. Integration where you have to use ln, not integration of ln. Anyway, so coming back, so you have uh, V prime is basically equal to minus one upon x, all right? Make sure not to make a sign error here and just double check before you move on. So I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do just that. Uh, yep, so far, so good. So V U prime plus U V prime is what? Uh, product rule is. So VU prime means that I am basically multiplying 0 0.2 minus ln 5x by 2x to the power 4. So I'll just write it first before I actually do it and make sure that you use the space that you have very efficiently. If you don't want to run out of space before you've actually solved the question. So VU prime plus and then overall it's going to become minus. So that's uh, 0 0.4x to the power 5 into 1 upon x. So that's just as good as uh, 0 0.4x to the power 5 upon x. Okay, now 2 into 0 0.2 is surprisingly 0 0.4x to the power 4. Not surprisingly, again, I was just being sarcastic. Minus 2x to the power 4, ln 5x, minus 0.4x to the power 4. So 0.4x to the power 4 and 0.4x to the power 4, it just cancels out. And now you're looking at minus 2x to the power 4, ln 5x. I forgot to put an x there. So this is what you're looking at, case uh, was the integer that we had to find. So k is equals to minus 2. Anyway. Now we move to part two, which says express ln 125x cube in terms of 5x. So this question is actually a very nice question. The examiner here is being super nice because whoever this examiner is, he's trying to, he or she is trying to make sure that you get this exactly right. So whatever it is that's required you from you to do here, this examiner is making sure that you do that step by step. And then once you're at part three, you're completely prepared or you have all the ingredients to do part three. So over here, we're gonna be using uh, some basic rules of logs. I do have a video on it, so if you want, you can check it out. If I haven't forgotten, I'll put it in the description box also. So 125 is five cubed, and we already have an x cubed. So that means I can write this as ln five x cubed, and I can bring the three and multiply it by the entire function. So I'm looking at three ln five x, okay? So this is what 125 x cubed can basically be written as. Okay, now when it says hence find um, the integral of x to the power 4 ln 125x cube. So we're, we're very close to finding this out. Okay, now why exactly is that? Because we just found out that the derivative of 0.4x to the power 5 times 0.2 minus ln 5x is basically equal to minus 2x to the power 4 ln 5x okay now there's a lot going on over here which uh, i'm going to try and explain 
Now, one thing that you may notice instantly is that, okay, we don't have, we have a minus two here, we don't have a minus two here. Okay, so we'll fix that, nothing to worry about. But one thing that you may notice is that you have ln 5x over here, and you have ln 125x cube over here. And that's exactly what I meant that the examiner is really nice over here that uh, he or she has already um, made you realize that there's something that needs to be done with ln 125x cube. And we're gonna do just that right now. So we're looking at ln 125x cube, now we know that we can basically turn this into, now x power four is not gonna go anywhere, okay? ln 125x cubed, we just realized, can be written as three ln 5x. And I can write this as three. Now I can take this three and I can, you know, move this outside of the integral sign. So that means I can write, because it's just a constant that's being multiplied. So instead of writing this as, I should show you exactly what I'm doing. Instead of writing this as three x to the power four, ln 5x, whoops, sorry integral of 3x to the power 4 ln 5x I can take this 3 okay and I can bring it outside the integral sign right it's not going to say anything it's still the same thing okay so that means all in all I have to find out I'm just going to write this nicely okay uh, all in all I have to find out the integral three times the integral of ln uh, x to the power 4 ln 5x x to the power 4 ln 5x so this is basically uh, what I need to find the integral of. Okay, so now how does this help? The way this helps us is that we already know what the integral of minus two x to the power four ln five x is. So that means as far as this part is concerned, I can very conveniently get my hands on the integral of x to the power four ln five x. Now, one thing you may be wondering right now is that we have a minus two here and we don't have anything over here. Okay, for now, I just want you to ignore this three, okay? So you're absolutely right, we do have a minus two here and we don't have a minus two here, which basically means that I'm gonna get rid of this minus two and how exactly am I gonna do that? I'm gonna take it over to the left-hand side. So when I do that, it's gonna get divided. So this tells me that, and by the way, the concept that I'm using over here is reverse integration since the derivative of this function is equal to this, that means the integral of this is gonna be equal to this. Okay, I should write that down. So the integral of minus two x to the power four ln five x is basically equal to 0 0.4 x to the power five, 0 0.2 minus ln five x. Okay, now again, one thing you may also be wondering is that this is just a two mark question. Why am I just going in circles now? The reason why I'm doing that right now is because I'm explaining a concept. I'm trying to be as elaborate as possible, but when you once you've gotten the hang of it, you don't need to show these many steps. You can skip a couple of them and then get to the final answer, okay. So we're almost there. I'm getting rid of this minus two that you see over here. That means if I take it over to the other side, it's gonna get divided. So I'm looking at x to the power four ln five x is equals to 0 0.4 divided by minus two is minus 0 0.2 x to the power five, 0 0.2 minus ln five x. Okay, so now I want you to look at this, x to the power four ln five x, and I want you to look at this, x to the power four ln five x. Now we already know what the integral of x to the power four ln five x is. So all I gotta do is, I'm gonna switch to another color, I've used a lot of blue now. All I need to do is, I'm gonna let the three be as it is. Now the integral of x to the power four ln five x is something we already know. It's minus 0 0.2 x to the power five into 0 0.2 minus ln five x, and there you go. Let's multiply this, so we have minus 0 0.6 x to the power five, 0 0.2 minus ln 5x. And there you go. This right here is your final answer, and I really hope you guys have understood this. Now we're gonna do another question, and uh, let's see what we have. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna try and solve this question. Let me see, yeah, let's do this question. Okay, so it says here, given that y is equals to ln x upon x squared, find dy by dx. So without wasting any more time, let's find dy by dx. So we'll have to use quotient rule here. So u is equals to ln x, the derivative of which is going to be one upon x. V is equals to x squared, which means v prime is going to be equal to two x. Now remember, we're using quotient rule here. So quotient rule says v u prime minus u v prime upon v squared. So I'll write it over here. V u prime minus u v prime upon v square. Okay, so v u prime, this is v prime, or u prime, I forgot to write that. So v u prime means x square multiplied by one upon x minus u v prime means two x multiplied by ln x upon v square means that the square of x, which basically means x to the power four because x square and then squared again. 
So we're looking at this x cancels out and the square gets reduced and the power is now one. So we're looking at x minus two x ln x upon x to the power four. And if you focus on the numerator, you can see that we can very conveniently factor out x. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So x minus two ln x upon x to the power four. Now this x cancels out and the power in the denominator x power four gets reduced by one, so it's equal to x cubed. So now we're looking at one minus two ln x upon x cubed is our final answer. So this right here is dy by dx. And there you go. Okay, then it says find the coordinates of the stationary points. So for this, you'll have to set it equal to zero. Uh, the dy by dx, or the derivative of this function equal to zero. So let's do that, although it's not relevant to what I'm may, uh, what, what I'm trying to explain right now. But anyway, so I'm gonna take us very long. So dy by dx is equal to zero. That's what I'm doing. If you wanna find the st coordinates of the stationary point, turning point, maximum point, minimum point, you have to set dy by dx equals to zero to get the x coordinate, and then you can plug in that x coordinate in the original equation to get the y coordinate. Anyway, so once this gets multiplied, I'm looking at one minus two ln x equals to zero, which means one is equals to two ln x, which means that ln x is equals to one upon two, which means that e, x is equals to e to the power half y because the base of ln is e, and if you turn this, uh, if you make x a subject, so x is the base, uh, e is, uh, x is the argument, sorry, e is the base, so x is equals to e to the power half. Now to find the y coordinate, so we're gonna do y is equals to ln e to the power half upon e to the power half squared. So we're looking at half ln e upon e power half squared, so that means e to the power one. So this is basically equal to half upon e, which is equal to, you can write this as, I mean, let me show you what this means. Half divided by e basically means one upon two into one upon e. So that's equal to one upon two e. Now the question really didn't ask us to write the answer in a certain form. So I would prefer leaving it like this, e to the power half comma one upon two e, or you can turn it into decimal and write it like that also, that's entirely up to you. And now we come to part three of the same question where it says using your answer to part one, find the integral of ln x upon x cube. Now, this is the point where we use what we have already just figured out and we use it to find the uh, integral of what we're supposed to find. So notice how uh, we just figured out that the differential of um, ln x upon x squared, so I'm just gonna write that down. So we just found out that the differential of uh, ln x upon x square is basically equal to one minus two x upon x cube. So one minus two ln x, sorry, uh, upon x cube. Okay, now, you know what this tells me? This tells me, and this should tell anyone, okay, not just me, that the integral of one minus two ln x upon x cube is equal to ln x upon x square. You know, just to give you a very simple example, the differential of x square is two x, which means that the integral of two x is gonna be x squared, and then of course you'll have a plus c. Anyway, so now, uh, which by the way, plus c just reminds me that in the last question, yeah, I forgot to put a plus c. So yeah, make sure you don't, and okay, so I'll just put a plus c over here. Oops, yeah, anyway. Now coming back to question number 10, part three, yeah. So now that I know that the integral of one minus two ln x upon x cubed is ln x upon x square, now notice how the question wants me to find the integral of ln x upon x cubed. Now it's not a coincidence that the question wants you to find the integral of ln x upon x cubed. Basically that this is what the question could give to you, okay? Considering what you've done in the previous part. So what, what my focus right now will, uh, my focus right now is gonna be on somehow getting ln x upon x cubed separated from this expression, okay? And that's what I'm going to divert all my attention on right now. So what I can do is, I can write this separately as one upon x cubed minus two ln x upon x cubed. I can totally do that, right? So that means if I integrate this expression, I get ln x upon x squared. Now remember, at the back of my mind, I know that my objective is to somehow just get ln x upon x cubed separated from this. And that's that's what I'm focused on right now. So now I know that the integral of one upon x cubed minus the integral of two ln x upon x cubed is basically what ln x upon x squared is equal to, okay? Now, 
oh, sorry, integral. I forgot to put an in integral sign. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to, since I want ln x upon x cube positive, I mean, that would be ideal. So I'm going to take this over to the left hand side with the integral sign. Okay, only the sign will change and plus to minus and minus to plus. And this I'm going to bring over to the left hand side. Now you have an integral sign with one upon x cube. Okay, minus ln x upon x squared. This you're not going to integrate. Keep that in mind is equal to the integral of 2 ln x upon x cubed. So notice how we're almost there. We just, we, we are almost there. We know what the integral of 2 ln x upon x cubed is. And we just have to find out the integral of ln x upon x cubed. So I still have to integrate this though. Okay, keep that in mind. So one upon x cubed, if I integrate this, uh, I'll do this over this, uh, I'll do this on the side here. So one upon x cubed is just as good as x to the power minus three. So this is going to be x to the power minus three plus one, which means minus two, and then divide by the new power. So I can write this as minus one upon two x square. Okay, if I take the power from negative to positive. I have videos on questions like these on Bright. So again, strongly suggest you sign up. If you haven't, I'll leave a link to it in the description. If I haven't forgotten that is. Okay, so this is equal to minus one upon two x square minus ln x upon x square. And this, this expression is basically what the integral of two ln x upon x cube is. Now we just have to find ln x upon x cubes. So that means I need to get rid of two. And obviously if I take it over to the left hand side, it's gonna get divided. Or you can think of it this way that I'm multiplying both sides by half. So I'm multiplying the left hand side and the right hand side by half. Okay, again, you can think of it whatever way you want. So if I multiply both sides by half, uh, the two and the half just take care of each other. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. So we're looking at ln x upon x cube is equals to minus one upon four x square minus ln x upon two x square. And not to forget the plus c, which I almost did in the last question. Anyway. So that brings me to the end of this question and this is the correct answer. And then in part four, actually this does not bring me to the end of this question, it brings me to the end of this part. You have to evaluate uh, ln x upon x cube within the limits, uh, integral of ln x upon x cube within the limits two and one. So you can use this. In fact, let's just do this. Um, uh, and let's see what the answer is. So you're looking at, now you already know that the integral of ln x upon x cube is equal to minus one upon four x square minus ln x upon two x square. So I'm just gonna have this inside the limits two and one. Now this is something that you guys can use your calculator to check your answer, I've made a video on it. And I would strongly suggest that you do use it to check your answer. Of course, you're not gonna get any marks if you use your calculator entirely, you can use it to check your answer. And uh, the calculator will integrate it for you. Again, I've mentioned that in the video, I thought I'd mention it again. So you don't have to put the integral, you just have to put it before you've integrated it. So if I plug in two, so I'm looking at minus one upon four times two squared minus ln two upon two times two squared minus, and then I'll make a bracket here because we have a minus sign. So that's um, just to be on the safe side. And then ln one upon two times one squared. So we're looking at minus one upon two squared is four, four times four is 16 minus ln two upon two squared is four, four times two is eight. And then ln one is zero, thankfully. So zero divided by anything is just gonna be zero. So all of this, I'm just gonna completely ignore. So ln one, yeah. And then we're looking at minus and then minus again will become plus. So minus one upon four times one squared is basically equal to one upon four. So now I can just work this out, simplify and get my final answer. So minus one divided by 16 plus one upon four. So I'm looking at three, upon 16 minus ln2 upon 8, which is my final answer. And then you can also convert this into decimal. So let's work that out. Minus fraction ln2 upon 8. So you're looking at 0 0.1008, which if you give correct to three significant figures is gonna be 0 0.101. And this right here is your final answer, folks. And I hope you've understood this question and the question I did previously well. And, uh, I will make a few, I will make a video in which I solve a few more questions like these. So you guys, again, have a good understanding. I'll try and do a few trigonometric functions also. I know that's something that you guys need help with also. So yeah, but as far as this video is concerned, uh, this is the end. I'll see you guys in the next video, inshallah. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.